disappointing, Governor. That weren't so bad. Me first crack of being a shaper, was it? Not bad, son. Not bad at all. Only next time you have a set to with a lorry driver, try keeping your opinions about his parentage to yourself. <laughs> well, I'll put that You're on. a chauffeur. You've got to be calm and, and dignified on the road. And a bit of class. Like me. <laughs> and don't boot this thing around like it was Nigel Mansell going home for his tea. <laughs> A chauffeur is supposed to open the doors and get the cases out of the boot. Oh, right, yeah. With his hat on. jump out on their own, would they? Yeah, well, have a nice stay. What do you want me to do while you're away? Well, Sarah's having a party tomorrow night. You'll be picking up and dropping off her guests. Yeah? Well, no problem. Henry will fix you up with some new clobber when you get back. Best whistle. What's up with it? Oh, nothing at all, son. If he was going out for a night on the town. Now, don't worry. You'll love Henry's taste in chauffeur's gear. <laughs> Toodle, son. And remember, up here for the thinking, down here for the dancing. <laughs> <laughs> and let's have lots of ashtrays. You know what people are like at parties. And not just in here, everywhere. I'll mention it at a staff briefing, Miss Sarah. I'm awaiting the return of the new chauffeur. He's not back from dropping your father off. Here's the guest list. Ah, oh, thank you. <clears throat> oh, by the way, what's the new chauffeur like? In a word, Miss Sarah, temporary. I do believe Mr. Palmer has made a grave error in employing him. He walks, talks and thinks like a yobbo. That is usually a very good judge of character, Henry. He chose you. <laughs> and, as I recall, we had his doubts about our last chauffeur. And wasn't it you? Oh, Charles came, highly recommended, Miss Sarah. His credentials were impeccable. Yes, and I hear the rich widow who whisked him off to the south of France was quite taken by his credentials. Well, at least with Charles, I could sleep at night, Miss Sarah, and not have to worry about the family silver. Oh, Henry, he can't be that bad. Hmm. And now, to the punch. A brandy punch, as usual? Yes, lots of it. Your special recipe. Ah, yes. Do you know what my secret is, Miss Sarah? Five-star French brandy. Nothing but the best. Hi, girls. Spot of travel? Oh, the brain of Britain. You said that without moving your lips, love. <laughs> we think it's petrol starvation. What? Not getting enough. Oh, no, I don't do that, love. Petrol, I mean. Oh. Well, I would like to give you a hand, you know, but... I... As you can see, I'm going to a business meeting. I don't want to get all my gear all greased up, do I? Not me. Perhaps I could offer you two ladies a lift. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> well, come on, then. You don't mind the front. Thanks. I'm in the rental business. <laughs> uh, Chopper went <laughs> sick this morning, so I don't know. Do you play in a band? Are you famous? Well, no, not in a band. Uh, I'm sort of more behind the scenes. Uh, record producer, actually. Is that tremendously exciting? 
Oh, you know, has ups and downs, you know what I mean? I know exactly what you mean. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's uh, get you strapped in, shall we? Before we get to uh, airborne. <laughs> Samantha, don't you realise it's... <laughs> Timmy! Timmy! Put them down, they're going to find Paul and Connie. Morning briefing in ten minutes. Where shall I put them, Mr Compton? On the roof, of course. Where else? Oh, right you are. Put them down <laughs> on the table, man. But you said... Just put them down on the table. Why do you want all these empty bottles, Mr Compton? Shut up and get on with what I've told you to do. Yes, Mr. Compton. No. <laughs> what did you tell me you'd do again, Mr. Compton? Go and find Paula and Connie and bring them here. No! Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> I remember now. <laughs> <laughs> And close the door! <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. What with him and the yobbo? Oh, is that the cash and carry? <clears throat> right. I've got a drinks order for you. Two dozen of your special brandy. Yes, that's right. The Bulgarian stuff. <laughs> Two pounds forty-five a bottle. <laughs> I'll have the one ninety-nine. just great if you could fix it up. I've always wanted to meet Phil Collins. Right. And I'd be ever so grateful. No problem. Right, next Thursday I'll sort it out. But don't forget, up there for thinking and down there for dancing. So I know to that mistake, right? You're only jealous. Jealous? If he's in the record business, then I'm in labour. <laughs> Where's that, Connie? No idea of time, these Filipinos. <laughs> you sent her out to Mr Compton to get little sticks. Tiny little sticks you said for the sausages. Well, they're easy enough to find in Chelsea, aren't they? You did tell her to get the cheapest. Oh, so it's my fault. Well, I have a sound understanding of economic principles. Oh, yeah, economic principles. You should stand for Parliament, Henry. <laughs> The monster raving loony party. <laughs> Shut up, London, and get into line. Line? Yes. You understand what a line is, I trust? When two or more people stand shoulder to shoulder, it's called a line. I thought it was a queue. Now you play snooker with a queue. A queue is a row of people standing close together, back to front. Ooh, uh, never call it that at some of the places I've been to. <laughs> Shut up. Hello. Terry, one pace forward, one pace left. <laughs> Get in there! <laughs> Oi, what's occurring here? I have very strict rules concerning goings on between staff. The penalty is instant dismissal. Do I make myself clear? What, me and him? No, you and him. <laughs> Her. All I did was stand in line and say hello. I could see the look in your eyes. It's me contacts wobbling. <laughs> Into line, Connie. Oh, stroll on, eh? <laughs> this place has got more crumpet than Lion's Corner House. <laughs> Lion's... <laughs> Is it all right if I say hello, Mr Compton? Feel free, my boy. I'd love giving you the boot. <laughs> Hello, my name's Jim. Right. Now that we're all present and correct, first thing on the agenda is Miss Sarah's party. Uh, and it about time you introduced me proper to everybody. We are all aware of what you're here for and what your function is. Despite your choice of garb, you look like a gigolo. What's wrong with gigolos? And they're social workers, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> the tailor is going to alter the chauffeur's uniforms to fit your delicate frame. Alter? Wait, wait. I mean, alter. Oh, I was promised new gear. New uniforms would be a waste. I doubt you'll be with us for long. Kitchen. 
Uh, oh, yes, Miss Sarah. I'll be right up. Terry, fresh flowers in every room. Paula, it's only Miss Sarah for lunch. Connie, bedrooms in the hall. And what about me? You wait here. You need to know what the score is. No, don't worry. I think I know what the score is. You shout and everyone jumps, right? Correct. Well, you better get yourself a job lot of throat sweets, my son. You're going to need them if you expect me to jump. Ha, 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 We'll see about that, sonny Jim. That man's a right prep. <laughs> You're going to tell him, are you? Oh, it's going to be a very interesting day. <laughs> Hello. My name's Terry. Hi, Tom. Nice to meet you. I'm Jim. What's a gigolo? I think I had one once when I was a kid. Well, I kept falling off. Oh, no, you didn't, Terry. Look, just go and get the flowers, all right? I'll bring you a nice cup of tea, all right? Oh, right you are. Yes. Fresh flowers for the room, Terry. Oh, yeah. Oh. I remember now. You'll have to make allowances for Terry. He's a nice little person, really. But 19 Bob short, right? Well, something like that. Yeah. I'm Paula, by the way, yeah. and this is Connie. This is Connie. Hello, what a lovely name, girl. Yeah, it's Concepcion, actually. Uh, What's she saying? She says, are you looking for a wife? What? <laughs> because she's looking for a husband. It's a wind-up, isn't it? Because I'm new here. You send me off to find a rubber hammer next, will you? <laughs> no, you see, she'd rather stay here than go back home and marry a cousin. Will you marry me? Uh, my cousin is fat with a moustache. Very nice of you to offer, but I've got to marry my own cousin. Yeah. She's fat with a moustache and all. Poor boy. We share a lot of feelings. I hope we will. <laughs> Kai Lang and Mei Sing Sing. What's he saying? What's he saying? What's he saying? Not without a ring. I told me Chelsea was a funny old manner. Do you know, the last chauffeur was whisked off to the south of France by a rich widow. Oh. Word of advice, by the way. Keep me minces peeled for a rich widow, right? No, just mind how you go with Henry, because he's not too bad with me, but then I don't give him any reason to be, you see. I keep my mouth shut and get on with my work. <laughs> oh, dear, what are these doing here? They should have been thrown away. Oh. Yeah, I'll do that. It's all right. Oh, thank you. Oh. Well, I'm going to get through some booze in this game, yes. don't I? Look at that. Real McCoy and all, proper stuff. What do you think you're doing, London? Well, I ain't doing the Irish jig, am I? I'm helping Paula sling these out. Put them back. But they're empties, Mr. Conk. Just put them back and go and wait for me in the hallway, London. The tailor will be here at any moment. <sighs> Do you know what, Henry? I can see you've got a problem there with all them empties. Do you know what I see in a Bible once? A little sticker. It said, if you're an alcoholic, phone this number. It was an off-license in Fulham. <laughs> <laughs> all right, my young smart ass. <laughs> what are you sniggering at, Paula? Nothing, Mr. Compton. Don't doubt it for one minute, love. Are you familiar with his work by any chance? <laughs> Have me moments. William's a friend of mine, actually. Lucky old William Alcock. <laughs> Seems a friendly bloke. Are you here to see my father? Because if you are, I'm afraid you've missed him. Oh, you're Mr. Compton told me to stay here. Oh, sorry, I'm, I'm Jim. Jim London. Hey, you must be Sarah, right? Oh, hello. Hey. Oh, you must be the new chauffeur. Yeah. Yeah, you don't do a lot of washing up, do you, girl? <laughs> what are you doing now, London? I'm talking all cock with Sarah. <laughs> it's Miss Palmer to you, Sonny Jim. I'm sorry about this, Miss Sarah. It's all my fault. Oh, very nice of you to admit it, Henry. Go to your quarters. <clears throat> I'll bring the tailor across when he arrives. Yeah, hey, do excuse me. I've been sent to my quarters. London, what a naughty boy you are. Well, I do, my place. You're the captain, I'm the lieutenant. Fall out the officer, stand by your bed. Get them on side and your green light on. Dip your bread in, tell them nothing, let them buy a program. I do, my place. Lots of nasty guys in love. See them all eat up. There we go. He's certainly different, Henry. <laughs> Pardon me, my man. Where are my quarters? <laughs> Oh, 
Come on, man. Let's be having you. Hold your horses. Ah, oh, leave off. You've got to be joking. <laughs> London, get yourself out here where we can see you. Don't be bashful. I leave off. I ain't wearing gear like this. <laughs> I mean, come on, who was the last show for then? General Patton. I mean, look at the size of it. I've took three steps forward and the suit ain't moved yet. <laughs> All it needs is a little nipping and tucking. <laughs> nipping and shutting, more like. <laughs> well, what do you think? If I told you what I think, I'd lose the business. How soon can you do it? Hmm. Never mind how soon he can do it. I wouldn't be seen dead in this. Look, get out of it. Look, pull the birds. I couldn't even pull a bog chain in this. <laughs> Me. I look a right mouth them. If you wish to keep the job, Sonny Jim, you'll wear the correct uniform. Yeah, I'm supposed to be a chauffeur, not bloody biggles. No buts, no <laughs> uniform, no job. So, which side do you dress? <laughs> well, I get a choice. No, but it's friendlier to ask. <laughs> <laughs> Palmer's roller. There's a cup of tea for you. Well, I'm afraid Mr. Palmer's not here. He's down at Mr. Stobart's gap. Oh, no. This is Paula Jim. I've got a cup of tea for you in the kitchen. Oh. Do you want it up here or down there? Yeah, you're still talking about a cup of tea. <laughs> All right, I'm on the way. There you are. Uh, is oh. Henry back yet? No, I don't think so. Oh. You ain't seen the uniform he wants me to wear, have you? Oh, I look a right Malcolm. <laughs> <laughs> What's Henry doing running a gaff like that? I mean, he's... he's radio rental, isn't he? Mr Palmer's a very busy man, you know. He's away a lot. He needs somebody like Henry. Henry's not so bad, you know, when you see how to take him. Yeah, preferably by the throat. <laughs> How would you get on with Miss Sarah? She's as good as cold. She got a boyfriend? Just you keep your eyes on the road. Her boyfriend's big. Big where? In size and in business. <laughs> His name ain't William Alcock, is it? <laughs> Should get someone to help you with those. London? London? Somebody call my name. <laughs> Cash and carry. Oh, Henry. Chief O Brandy. Henry, you old rascal. Oh. <laughs> Afternoon, Ed. It's Mr. Compton to you, Sanny Jim. By the way. The uniform will be ready for you to wear tonight. You can pick up Miss Sarah's guests. Looking the part. Yeah? Oh, indeed. Yes, indeed. Right you are, Mr. Compton. <laughs> Need hand, Mr. Compton? No. No, I can manage. Just get on with your work. The trick to a good punch, Miss Sarah, is to use only the best wines and spirits. It's costly, but money well spent at the end of the day. Only the best. I really wouldn't know where to start. <laughs> Let me know how much the account comes to. Oh, don't you worry your head, Miss Sarah. Just go ahead and enjoy your party. <clears throat> As a matter of diplomacy, Miss Sarah, I um, paid for all the wines and spirits out of my own personal account. 
That way, your father doesn't need to know, uh, should you not wish him to, of course, just how much you spent. <laughs> I know how fathers can be sometimes. Oh, thank you, Henry. You are a gem. Yeah. Because between you and me, Daddy can be a bit stuffy about such things. Thank you. Think nothing of it, Miss Sarah. Enjoy your evening. If you're happy, I'm happy. Hello, happy. <laughs> Snow White's looking well tonight. <clears throat> Come and kiss the addresses. Where is the uniform? Uniform? Are you having trouble hearing me? No, I'm having trouble listening to you. <laughs> Go and change into your uniform. Listen, my son, you can take my uniform and shove it right up... Oh, the... is that right? <laughs> Absolutely right, as far as it will go. Otherwise, you ought to take the buttons off first. I... <laughs> In that case, you, sunshine, are sat. Henry, I'll be very careful what I'm saying. About. I know perfectly well what I'm saying. Oh, only the very best wines and brandies, Miss Sarah. You crocky git, you're on the fiddle. <laughs> oh dear, what have we here? Look at this, a felt tip pen mark. <laughs> what are you playing at? You've been putting cheap booze into posh bottles. Hey. You can't prove a thing. <laughs> I wonder if we should ask Miss Sarah over and have a little word with her about it. All right, all right. <laughs> what are you after? Well, Henry, I'll let you off this time, right? But. I want that Malcolm's uniform I got dumped, and I want a new one made up, made up with a bit of style, right? And since I've just pulled this amazing bird who thinks I'm in a record business, I want Thursday night off and use of the roller. Uh, impossible! Uh, Miss Sarah! Oh, all right, all right. It, it's a deal. Yeah, now. Yeah. Well, an old, is it? There's the addresses. Go! <laughs> I'll fix you, Sonny Jim. Oh, <laughs> if you think I'm beat that easy. No good doing that, Henry. I have got the invoice. <laughs> Remember what they say, my son? Up there for thinking, down there for dancing. <laughs> Have a drink. Can't win them all, I suppose. 